Hello, this is Jack from First Central. I'm here to give you a daily scripture reading um, today from Ephesians 3. Um, and Ephesians 3 is, is there's this interesting kind of a break that's going on. Um, in chapter 2, um, Paul had just talked about how we are saved by grace through faith alone. Um, and so we have nothing to boast about. And yet, because God is at work in us, then we can reach out and, and do works um, that he created for us before the foundation of the world, that he wants us to be people of reconciliation. He wants us to be people um, who do good works. Um, and so then he's going to call um, this, this, uh, in this letter, call us to live in a manner worthy um, of which we've been called um, in chapter 4. He starts to do that in chapter 3. And he, when, and he says, for this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus, on behalf of you Gentiles. And then he, he, instead of moving straight to that call, he talks about the mystery of the gospel. He talks about uh, the insight that's been given to him and how he's passed it on and how God has done this thing that's more than we can even think or imagine, um, how he has brought both um, Jew and Gentile together, that God's people, um, Israel, um, have now been um, brought to include the Gentiles. And so like all people in the world can be brought into Israel and, and, and with Jew and Gentile being brought together, we have the church and this is God's people. And um, so let's take a look at Paul's little uh, excursion, if you would, in chapter 3, and I'll begin reading that now. Ephesians chapter 3. For this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner of Christ Jesus on behalf of you Gentiles, assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly. When you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men and other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body, and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given to me by the working of his power to me, though I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the unsearchable reaches of Christ and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden in, for ages in God who created all things so that through the church the manifold wisdom of God might be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose that he realized in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. And so I ask you not to lose heart over what I am suffering for you, which is your glory. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth, to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now, to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all we ask or think, according to the power at work within us. To him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. Paul has been given this insight into the mysteries of God. And people say, I just wish that God would tell me something. I wish he would speak to me. Well, he's done that. Uh, he sent Jesus Christ the full revelation of, of who God is. And Paul has given this um, revelation by Christ and through the Holy Spirit. It says, through the power of him who works in me. Um, 
and he mentions the spirit, um, the working of his power in him. And in doing so, he's now been given this opportunity to go and preach the gospel to the Gentiles that God is, is calling for members into his kingdom. He wants new citizens. He does this through faith in Jesus Christ. And then he brings us in through that faith. And then because we are then sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, you remember chapter um, 1, it says that when you receive the gospel, you are sealed with the promised Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of your inheritance until you take possession of it. Because you have that Holy Spirit in you, you now also have the Spirit of God working in you through this insight. We have the scriptures themselves, Paul's teaching, which is actually God's teaching, this revelation mystery that God has made Jew and Gentile one people, that we've been brought together and made into the church, that we've been grafted into Israel. We are his people, and we are now citizens with full rights and benefits and responsibilities in the kingdom, part of which is spreading the message of the mystery of God. Um, and so we share our faith verbally. It, you, we do want to live a faith that looks like we are transformed. In, in chapter 4, Paul's going to go back into the call that he originally started in, in chapter 3, verse 1, where he starts to say, okay, so in light of all of this, here's how I want you to live. Um, but living well isn't in itself enough. We also have to proclaim. The gospel is a proclamation. It was made known, and it's proclaimed, and those who hear the words of Christ and believe, they become saved. And so think about over this um, next few weeks as you're on social media, ways that you can reach out by phone, you can reach out through social media. Be careful with your words. Um, we have a chance here to spread a message of hope. Um, that's that's that message that Paul prays about here, um, that we could have the faith of Christ in our hearts and know the height and the length and the depth and the breadth of this thing, just how absolutely big it is, that it's worldwide encompassing, that God wants all people to come to the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Um, uh, we don't want to use our words in a way that distract from that message. Um, we want to be very careful about the message. Let us be a people who take the mystery that has been revealed to us and the insight that we have with the Holy Spirit and go forth and make disciples and be hope-bearing messengers for Jesus Christ.